Yes, yes, Massive and Crew, back once again with another video. And today we are going to install, as promised, the HXC emulator in my Akai S3000. As you can see from the previous install, you can see that I've got the uh, the floppy disk drive. I've stripped it open. If you want to see how to strip it open, check my video on how to install the LCD screen for the Akai X3000 XL, and you'll see how I've got about doing this. So now I've got to figure out how the hell you take out this floppy disk drive. So to do that, I guess you've got to unscrew the, the four screws here underneath. There's one, two, three, four screws that hold the floppy drive in. All right, so let's take these four screws off. Okay, so I've done that. Yeah, now straight away you can see the floppy drive is wobbly and it's ready to come out. So now I should be able to access the mechanisms. There's a cable running along here. Can you see that? Now, you want to be careful that that cable there doesn't come out. So what I would do is I think I'm going to unplug this cable first. I'm going to pull that plug out. Now, uh, it can only go one way around. I think the white is on pin one. The white is on pin one. So I'm going to take that out, get that out of the way so I don't snap it. Then I should be able to get this out. Cool, blimey, Akai. Sort your life out, look. In fact, I should be able to at least get to the screws here, look. I can get to that screw there. There we go, look, it comes out. Okay, great, okay. So, I'm gonna need to take this off. This ribbon cable. So on the back, there's a ribbon cable. That comes off, yeah? And you can see, there's a little plastic bit that, got, that lines up with a hole at the bottom. If you did Lego at school, you know what I'm talking about. That underneath there, that comes out, see it? Bosh, take that out there. Right, so now we've got our floppy drive out. So now what we're gonna do, take off the four screws, and then we are going to put our HXC emulator in. I'm getting a bit excited about this now. This is, uh, this is, this is brilliant. All right, so that's that, Bosh. So remember which way that goes around, this is the front. So you want this lining up with the front. Okay, four screws, four holes. Line them up, screw them in. Simple as that. If you could use the old screws, why not? They give you a set of screws with it. And I'm assuming they're short little ones. So let's just have a quick peek at that. The length of the screws is a bit longer than these. So no harm to use the original screws, I guess. Now on the back here, you can see that there's there's some jumpers on these uh, on this setup. Now you have to find out from your manufacturer what jumpers to set and how to set this part up. Uh, they sent this to me pre preset. I tested it on my three thirty two hundred, and it worked. And I'm also testing it now. Obviously, All right? These screws are hard to put in. I think I'm going to use the screws that it come with. They are giving me a bit of a battle. And I've got half hour until I've got my live stream. So guys, look, and they do, they give you a set of jumpers with it as well. So now the jumpers, if I'll give you an insight what the jumpers are about, the jumpers depend on what machine you're using the HXC for. It has different settings. And you can, the good thing is about these HXCs, you can do things like put um, special displays in there as well. Yeah, that screw's a much better fit. I think I'm gonna go with that, take that one out. So guys, let me know if you, any one of you guys have bought an Akai S3200, an S3200 XL, any one of the Akais recently. Uh, I've been looking at the Akai S6000, which is a pretty cool sampler. Uh, at some point, if I really did have the space in here, man, I would, I would buy more tech, man, but you know what, right now. Hang on a minute, no, this does fit. Right now, it's only a small room. So how much tech can you get, man? I'm a bit of a tech junkie. I love all my studio kit, especially retro studio kit. It's just so much fun doing all the things that you can do with them now that you couldn't do back then. And it kind of brings it back for me. It's like reliving my young tech days. This is, this is old man toys right now. 
so guys yeah let me know man you guys out there making music you know don't die with any music still in you man get your music out get it heard get your ideas yes it's done in now we're gonna go back all we do is connect this the two connectors back now let's try and slot how the hell did I put that in there it goes in this way right mm -hmm. and that HXC emulator goes in there slots in there nicely Woo! look at that then the, the pins go back in as we said before the uh, ribbon cable make sure that the, all the holes line up properly mate you wire that up you, you don't well, you got the slot in the middle anyway how can you not put it in properly when you've got that big sort of uh, slot in the middle there you don't want to put that in the wrong pins because it just won't work simple as that then this one goes back in that's the power right now we've got to get this on the bottom we've got to go on the bottom now and we've got to line up the holes and then we've got to then oh yeah also we've got to put this over there where was this tash it was over here wasn't it mm -hmm. what did i what pin white, pin white. Num, white was what pin what one pin one white was pin one there we go white is pin one you think mate if you get this wrong is boom <laughs> right there you go yeah so that goes in there we hold that steady now I'm gonna bring that back up slowly and now we've got to figure out I think it's best to turn this upside down if you're gonna do this line it up like that find the holes bloody hell look at this Oh, here we go, I just saw them. Is that in there? No, just get one screw in at least. And that will be a start, right? Oh, yeah, once you've got one in, the rest line up a bit easier. I'm gonna get the, the second one in now, which is gonna be this one. I can see the holes lined up, but it's just, probably needs pushing from underneath a bit yes man this is something I really wanted to do for a while I've been coming home from work watching it so, yep that's that's tight now third one probably best to put all the screws back in so make sure you keep all your screws together once you put the first two opposite screws in peeps it, it's uh it's easy to line up Bosch Bosch so putting all the screws in sweet man sweet okay so that's that HXC emulator is now in and installed now let's just check plug it back in turn it on see what we got okay here we go oh yes it's coming on see there you go HXC powered up whether it's working or not I'm not actually sure but I'm going to put this back together and we'll do a test Okay, so here we go. Screen back on. Look at that. Oh yes, a bit of a gap there, but hey, can't can't really complain, can I? Right, so put that in. Now for the screws to go back on the top. Time, half hour job. Nearly half. Hour. Oh, that's fitted now. Under half hour. Un, under forty five minutes. Now I can start making HXC images testing with my uh, with my packs. People have been asking for just a straight HXC image so they can just install this because they don't want to mess with Omniflop. They just want the IMG files, which I believe this works with. Yes, people, there you have it. It's all installed. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find it useful. Please like, share, subscribe if you know anybody who has got an Akai S3200. Please tag them down below if they've got an Akai, Akai and they want to install or uh, upgrade their LCD. That's it for today's video, people. Take care. God bless. Peace. I'm a everyday